If drag is slowing your breaststroke down, it's time to focus on your body line. This critical aspect of breaststroke will help reduce drag and help you maximize your speed at the same time. I'm Coach Chris, and welcome to Between the Laps. For those that don't know me, I'm the senior coach at the Brentwood Seawolves and founder of the Swim Accelerator program an online platform of like-minded swimmers working together to help get faster and more efficient in the water through stroke analysis, weekly workshops, and private one-on-one coaching with me. These swimmers are achieving success outside of any of their wildest dreams. Today, we're looking at how to achieve the perfect body line in breaststroke. Whether you're a competitive swimmer looking to shave off those extra seconds or someone who wants to improve their efficiency in the water, mastering your body line can make all the difference in the world. So let's get started. When we're talking about the body line, we're essentially talking about the alignment of the head, spine, and hips. This alignment should be straight and streamlined as much as you possibly can to help reduce drag and allow you to glide effectively and efficiently through the water. For example, stand up straight, look forward. This is your body alignment. That's the natural position we want to achieve in the water while swimming breaststroke. When your body line is off, even slightly, it can create a lot of resistance in the pool. Think about it like this. If your head is lifted too high or your hips are sinking too low, you're creating unnecessary drag. This slows you down and makes you have to work a lot harder than you need to. Notice how elite swimmers maintain a straight horizontal line from the top of their head to their hips. It's almost like they're skipping rocks over the surface of the pool. Their heads are in a neutral position and their core is engaged to keep everything aligned. So a strong core is essential for maintaining a perfect body alignment. Here are a few exercises that I like to do with my swimmers to help strengthen their core and stabilize their bodies in the water. First one is a plank. This underrated exercise makes the world of difference. It's better than any crunches or abs exercise that you can do. Hold this position for anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. Make sure your body forms a straight line from head to heels. One thing I always notice is people putting their hips too high. Another great way to work on your body line is through streamlined glides. Push off from the wall in a streamlined position and hold it as long as you possibly can. This drill helps you feel a perfect body line and give you that sense of how it should feel when you move on to adding the stroke. This glide position at the end of your stroke is what you're trying to achieve to maximize that forward momentum in breaststroke. Your head plays a huge role in maintaining your body line. Keep your head in that neutral position with your eyes looking straight down. This helps keep your spine aligned. A great way to practice this is using a snorkel. It allows you to focus on maintaining your body line without worrying about lifting your head to breathe. You go through the breaststroke pull cycle and kick while maintaining your head in a steady down position. As a side note, it also helps you focus on building more power from the hips into your kick, getting that sort of that fly kick position. Speaking a little bit about kick, a proper breaststroke kick should be compact and powerful. Think of it as a whip motion. Your heels should come up towards your butt and then whip your legs back together in a fast, explosive movement. This is going to give you that drive forward. So if our head is up, that's just going to be like hitting a wall 
all that work you'll do in your kick will just disappear. Practice your kick against the wall can really help generate and give you that feel of power and efficiency without disrupting your, your body line. A few drills for this to help you master your body line and breaststroke can be streamline a kick on your back, push off the wall in a streamlined position, and perform your breaststroke kick while maintaining a solid body line as straight as you possibly can. Next, and this one's a bit weird, try single arm drill. Swim breaststroke with only one arm extended and the other by your side. This forces you to focus on maintaining a body line that is stabilized and balanced throughout your stroke. Trust me, when I say this drill is a little bit advanced, I mean it. It's, it's a tough one. Even I struggle with this on a regular basis, but it really is quite helpful. The last drill I want you to try is one full stroke breaststroke followed by then six flutter kicks, holding that line, holding that streamlined position. This combination is great for stabilizing and utilizing that forward momentum. As you practice these drills and continue to strengthen your core, you'll find it a lot easier to maintain a perfect body line throughout your breaststroke. Remember, consistency is key, especially when it comes to breaststroke. We don't want to do a granny stroke and then try to do a competitive stroke later on. You have to be consistent with it throughout your practices. Keep working on these aspects and you'll see improvements in your speed and efficiency within no time. All right, swimmers, that's today's session on mastering the perfect body line breaststroke. Remember, straight and streamlined body lines reduce drag and help increase your speed making you more efficient in the water. Keep practicing these drills and add in the core exercises and you'll be amazing at, at breaststroke and you'll be amazed by how much you improve. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more swimming tips and techniques. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, drop them in the comments below. Finally, if you're ready to take your swimming to the next level, join our active community of swimmers in the Swim Accelerator. Inside, you'll get deep dives into the nuances and the mental game of swimming. Plus, you'll get personalized co coaching and support from me and the rest of my team to help you achieve your goals faster. Thank you for watching and see you next time.